My name is Ruben Kahn. I am the uh, defender in the Southern District of California in San Diego. Uh, by way of introduction, uh, I'd like to begin with a brief personal story because what the trial lawyer can resist the opportunity to talk about themselves in front of a captive <laughs> audience of judges. Uh, 23 years ago, I was a young lawyer and uh, I had just had the, the honor of being offered a job in the Federal Defender's Office in this district, the Southern District of Florida. And I arrived in February of 1993 and began to hear immediately of the work of the Prado began to hear immediately of the work of the Prado Committee, the first committee to review the Criminal Justice Act, chaired by our emeritus chair, Judge Edward Prado. And, uh, and I learned very quickly of the significant work it had done and the many recommendations it had made to improve the functioning of the Criminal Justice Act. Uh, the vast majority of those recommendations were accepted by the Judicial Conference, were implemented, and have gone on to make for a more effective system of representation of indigents in the federal courts. Um, but the most consequential uh, of those for an independent, fully independent defender system with a defender general heading it was rejected by the judiciary, by the judicial conference. But in the wake of the report and in the wake of, uh, of that recommendation, I think a new understanding was born and developed uh, within the judiciary and with the defenders that Defender Services was not a service to the court, nor was it some mere annoyance. It was a special trust managed by the judiciary uh, for the protection of all of our constitutional rights. Uh, and that understanding protected both defenders and the judiciary and led to a much better system. <laughs> But the judiciary and the defender system have changed massively over the last 23 years. Uh, many of the members of the judiciary who were here then are no longer with us today. And the young Turks like Judge Prado are now the old lions of the bench. <laughs> I am no longer a young lawyer either. Uh, and unfortunately, that understanding has frayed and sequestration shined I think a very harsh light on the tattered fabric of that understanding. And that was the impetus for this new study, this ad hoc uh, committee to review the Criminal Justice Act chaired by our own Judge Cardone, who's also a member of the Defender Services Committee. Uh, the same 14 questions that were posed to Judge Prado's committee are posed again to this committee, and they are all relevant today. Uh, in, including the, the, the central question of independence, and they all bear study. Uh, and, uh, and this committee is examining those both uh, through private research, but most importantly in a series of public hearings where we hope to get the views of as broad and diverse a group of individuals as possible about what's needed to improve the functioning of the Criminal Justice Act. Uh, as I said, this is the second of those hearings. In addition, there is a website at cjastudy.fd.org where members of the public can offer comments, and I urge you as well as look at uh, the public testimony that's been offered, both in streaming form and uh, the written testimony that's offered. And I urge anyone who's interested to take a look. Uh, I'd like to briefly introduce the committee, including uh, beginning with the panel members for today's panel, first we have Judge Mitchell Goldberg from the Eastern District of Pennsylvania, uh, Chip Friendsley, citizen from Nashville and the uh, national representative of the Criminal Justice Act, uh, Act panel attorneys. Uh, as I said, I'm Reuben Kahn, the defender in San Diego. Judge Reggie Walton, Honorable Reggie Walton of the District of the District of Columbia. As I said, our Chair Emeritus uh, and member of the committee, Judge Edward Prado of the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. Uh, that's the panel for this morning. The other members here are Judge Kathleen Cardone, our Chair, uh, Catherine Rowe, Defender, Federal Public Defender of the District of Minnesota, Judge Dale Fisher of the Central District of California, 
Dr. Robert Rucker, Assistant Circuit Executive of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, the best Court of Appeals in the nation. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that now that I've left the Eleventh Circuit. <laughs> Neil McBride, formerly the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia and now a partner at Davis Polk. Professor Oren Kerr of George Washington University. Not with us is Judge John Gerard of the District of Nebraska. And our, our reporter, Judge, I mean, sorry, not Judge, our reporter, <laughs> Professor John Gould of American University, our staff, Autumn Dickman, Aaron Brenner, and somewhere is Mark Gable, though I don't know where he is. <laughs> 